I'm Paul Cardis here in Orlando at the International Builders Show, and with me today I have Bob Musa with CPS, and he has a wonderful, innovative electronic topo table product that's available for all builders and developers. Bob, thanks for meeting with me here today. Thank you very much, Paul. Appreciate it. Tell me a little bit more about your product here and uh, why it's good for builders to use this. Well, Paul, this is a, a product we introduced a couple of years ago, and it was designed initially to replace the builder's traditional topo table. And what we found was there were so many additional features we could add to this table that it really made it a cost-effective solution for the builder, wanting to communicate a lot of different pieces of information to the buyer, uh, such as, you know, we can show them lot availability, we can show them plan types, uh, neighborhood and community amenities. Uh, really, there's the only limit to what this particular product can do is just your imagination. It's a great product. Wonderful. So, in terms of cost, what does it cost to bring something like this into a builder? I mean, it's obviously very high tech and everybody wants it, but that's probably one of the biggest prohibitive factors. Yeah, uh, well, the price has come down quite dramatically over the last few years for touchscreen technology. Uh, traditionally, the larger the screen, the more the uh, technology cost. And we found that once we got to sizes about over 40 inches, that the cost in the past had been prohibitive. Uh, within the last couple of years, it's come down now to the point that we can offer pretty much a turnkey package for for a typical builder between about eleven and twelve thousand dollars. Wow, that's fantastic! And so, tell me about the software and back end work. Does a builder have to program then all the things, or do you have some software to go with it? Well, we provide a, a turnkey package, as you said, to the builder. Uh, we actually wrote a program that writes the program for us, which allows us to keep our costs very, very low. And the builder simply has to provide to us the media that they want in the uh, presentation. And we put in the happy, smiley faces from stock photos. We do the organization. We kind of arrange the presentation such that it's going to reflect the builder's th theme, uh, their, their color scheme, the theme for that whole community. You know, it's, a, it's something that, that will blend in seamlessly. And the thing that builders really like about the screen as well is that you can take these, these touch screens and they don't have to be in a traditional topo table. You can put them in a coffee table, you can put them up on the wall behind the frame, mm -hmm. you can blend them into the scheme that you're using in your uh, new community. Great, so basically the builder enters in their information and then the software has already built out the various screens for, the, for it to basically give them the functionality they need. Right, there's three ways that uh, builders generally use to get the information in. One way is to use our uh, product uh, over the internet. There's an internet interface where people can go in and enter their lots and the pricing and the plans and what have you. There's another uh, uh, interface where we can actually uh, import the data from other programs, such as our CRM program, for instance. Mm -hmm. And then the third way is we can actually build a custom pipeline from whatever system the builder is using to get the information into the system. So there's no duplicate entry. We don't want people to have to enter the prices twice. We don't have to have them enter the plan information twice. We want to be able to leverage the existing information, the existing database records that the builder has into this system. Great. Well, why don't you show us some of the functionality that, uh, that it does? Sure. Uh, let's take a look here at uh, the interactive site plan because this is what we started with. This particular builder has two phases that they're introducing. And of course, we can have this first screen can be pretty much a map of, of the community. It could be a map just of, uh, of the general area. You can put any touch points, any place on it. I'm going to pick phase two here, and that'll show us the available lots. Now, you notice here that a lot of these buttons are red, which indicates that that particular unit is sold. If the unit is unsold, we can put it in green or whatever color the builder wants. And as the units are sold, uh, these buttons will automatically turn to uh, red no matter where these units are located. Mm -hmm. So if you sell them back in your home office and that's where the information is, that information can go over the internet and if you're cross-selling, you can immediately see on the screen that that unit is no longer available. Excellent, that's great. And so can we look at some floor plans as well? Sure, let's take a look at this particular unit. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing a, a plan A, 1R. We'll view the floor plans here. There's one. Now. Right. Here the, the builder asked us to incorporate uh, some video within this particular one. So there's a, a tour. I'll press the, the go button here. There we go. So we can embed pretty much anything that you can show on a computer, we can embed into these presentations. Close that again. Different floor plans there. We can also show structural options, uh, uh, option selections, 
different, uh, just different uh, ways that the builder or the uh, user of the program can slice and dice those plans. Right. So what happens when they go home? Can the buyer then access this on the web? Right. They can email their, their customized brochure uh, to themselves. They can access this information on the web. One of the features of the program is that not only does it show on the interactive topo table, but it also shows on the builder's website itself. So we actually, it's actually two programs in one, which is very, very cost effective for the builder. Yeah, so one of the things that uh, we added a little bit ability here for uh, this particular builder, mm -hmm. and one of the things that's really a favorite, apparently, of the prospects at the sales office, is this ability to take a plan or specification, to mark it up, and say, well, we don't want this wall here, and then actually print that particular uh, picture and take it home with them. They could indicate, well, this is going to be grandma's room right here, for instance, that type of thing. And it just kind of, it gets people involved and engaged in the, uh, in the presentation, and it allows the, the salesperson and the uh, prospect to share the visual presentation here that they're seeing on the screen. So it's, it's really a, a great contact point for conversations between the salesperson and the prospect. Great, yeah, this is very interactive, and I can see how it would be very useful. So you can save whatever drawings here, print that out, and then take it to uh, the next level. Sure, yeah. and, and once again, it allows the customer to customize their brochure. It's going to save the builder money with uh, brochure printing costs, and it's going to make the customer a little bit more of a satisfying experience in the fact that they're actually building their own brochure. It's kind of a, kind of a cool thing for them to be able to do. So show me some other features here in the software. Sure, uh, this is great for showing structural options. Structural option, options are awfully difficult to explain to a, a, a prospect. With this, you can list all your structural options on the screen. The, uh, for instance, if we're going to change this area here with the new master bath, the, the user can simply go over there, touch that, and voila. You see the new plan printed out take it home, you've got exactly what you're interested in as opposed to having to look through and what were we interested in there? Was it this one or this one? Now you know exactly what you're selling. Excellent. Thank you very much.